Yeah. Ho, 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 friends. Uh, welcome to this, uh, another Four Up Challenge. In fact, it is a year of us doing Four Up Challenges. So we're celebrating by, hang on, I'll get me, get me tassel sorted out here. Um, uh, we're celebrating by recreating the original, don't do that, Jamie, it's disturbing. <laughs> Um, I'm being joined this evening by two happy little elves. Uh, we've got Jamie, who you're all familiar with. Say hello. Hello. There How are we, we doing? Uh, and uh, uh, joining us for the first time in the Four Up Challenge, it's Mike the Tea Boy. Good evening. Thank you, Michael. Uh, jolly good. Uh, in the uh, in the bottom corner where there is a, a logo currently sported, <laughs> um, yeah, th there should be uh, Matt the Professor Peddleston. Uh, but unfortunately, Matt is under the weather at the moment, uh, so uh, so hopefully he'll get well soon. But he is watching in Twitch just to see how gloriously he does on this particular run. Yeah, there we go. Right, good. So uh, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm going straight in here. Uh, but before I do so, how did how did you feel about your runs there, chaps? Oh yeah, n not. So hot. Um, <laughs> definitely lots of speeding going on. Yeah, lots of speeding. I, I, feel, I feel sorry for the passengers. Yep. <laughs> uh, um, the, uh, I, I'm glad I did the test run because the test run was a disaster. Yep. At least, I've, well, yeah. We'll yep. see on this run. Yep. We'll because see. the difference in this one is this is a no HUD challenge. No HUD yes. may be used to help you with the train at all. Yeah. yeah. Whoever idea this was. It was my uh, idea. I think, I think Matt, fine. Uh, Matt and I have been discussing no HUD for some time, and uh, and I thought this is a fine way to check it out. Jamie, how did you get yeah. on? I think I didn't do too badly. I think surprisingly, but I had to, yeah, I think I think I'm doing all. I think I've done okay. That's I think what I've you think, okay. is it? I, I think. think. Okay. I could be okay. Completely Jamie thinks wrong. he's done all right. Right. Let's uh, let's skip on so you can see the. Uh, here are the rules. Uh, so we are running the Bakerloo line this evening. Uh, it is the. It's, it's in December with some light cloud and no wetness or precipitation. Uh, we're all driving the 1938 stock, and uh, we're doing the uh, the 741 201D06 service. Uh, and of course, the important thing: no. HUD. No HUD may be used to help you with the train in the slightest. Which means it's quite tricky to keep to, to, uh, to, keep to time. As ever, uh, the highest score is the winner. You get bragging rights for arriving earliest uh, or for travelling the furthest on foot. Uh, the most accurate stop, that can, uh, that can go well. Uh, that's, that's helpful. Um, uh, camera wizardry. And uh, you get disqualified instantly for uh, for running with a dev build adam's not here so we should be all right with that uh for using mods of any kind uh and for using the hud i repeat using the hud mm. you may not use the hud to help you with the train what you are able to use though i'll, I'll demonstrate to the camera you are allowed to use one of these uh, that is the timetable, <laughs> so that you've got some idea. That, coupled with my telephone as a stopwatch uh, for individual stops, came in jolly, jolly handy. Uh, am I wearing a Santa hat or a windsock? <laughs> yeah, it does have that going, going on there. Uh, so here we go. Because there's no HUD, there is no synchronisation going on in this one. Everyone starts at the same time. And I'd just like to say, to begin with, gentlemen... Well done for, for attempting this challenge. It's a thing of beauty. Uh, I will then follow up by saying, one of these things is not like the others. Can anyone see Ominous. what it is yet? Anyone? Can anyone see which one is not quite the oh! same? Oh! Oh! Um, Mike, what have you done? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Michael. <laughs> Oh, Mike, your first time on the stream, Mike. <laughs> I'd also like to remind people that you're not allowed to use the HUD to help you use the train. I don't think anybody's uh, anybody's falling foul of that, are they? Oh, hold on, Jamie. What's going wow. on, Jamie? You seem oh, to be yeah. using the HUD to not, tell you what the buttons are. But you, you said not until you're moving on the on the thing. So I, I, I went... said you weren't allowed to load the HUD up. 
while moving, but you were using the HUD to uh, to act to set the train up, and uh, oh, everyone what? else wasn't. So uh, oh. that's a, that's the quickest double disqualification <laughs> ever seen. Wow! Uh, wow! And uh, but I mean, fair play to you, Jamie. You've got underway really quickly, but that's probably because you knew what all the buttons were by using the HUD. There we are. Right, there we are. So, uh, it's going It's going well. It's, uh, it's, it's going It's going well. Well uh, isn't the, uh, the word I'd use for that start. No, no. <laughs> it genuinely isn't. I put this together. I put this together. And, uh, yeah, that's... That's it. That's right. Your, your disqualification badge is going to disappear soon enough. Um, uh, you didn't see using the wrong train in the rules. No, Mike is playing in a completely different challenge. Mike is doing the 1972 stock challenge. Um, and, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, good. Yeah, no, people are going like, oh, I'm actually in with a chance. I have to, I'll have to let you know, but I have one more of these than anybody else. But then... I have appeared in all of them, so <laughs> I, I've got that going for me. Uh, but uh, but yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, no, I mean at this point, Mike, you might as well be using an ICE. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you'd be, this, you'd yeah. Be only, you'd only be you'd only be the same level of disqualified. Um, good, right, there we go. What's Mike's job? Mercifully, it is not paying attention to details as sent to him in an email. Mm -mm. No. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's it's between uh, arguably the two winningest uh, four up drivers. Uh, this one <laughs> and Matt's Matt's off to a blinder. Interestingly, I don't know why my destination marker's still on because uh, I turned that off. And you've got your HUD, both of you have got your HUD turned off at this point, and it's still got mm. your uh, your stopping markers in place. Mm. Yeah. And, uh, ben, the, the, the stopping marker is still allowed, purely because, firstly, it's going to have absolutely no impact on the end result, because it doesn't give you the distance stopping marker. Um, and secondly, as you'll see, it's not really going to have much of an impact on the result. So, uh, so yeah, so there we go. Yeah, Nat, Nat avoided um, uh, being involved <laughs> in this one. I'm not sure I'll let her escape the next one. She's uh, she can get in there as well. She got she's got no. And uh, hang on, how many times have you won so far, Nat? Uh, can't remember. She, she won one. I'm sure she's won one. Uh, I came close to spadding there. Uh, see you later. Uh, I. I stopped a little longer than I should have done, but uh, but did not span. <laughs> but interesting technique at use, because uh, obviously everybody records these in isolation, and both Matt and I are trying to work with the uh, with the speedo just sat in the top left corner of the screen. <laughs> We'll just keep it there. <laughs> it's, it's like, there's us three just keeping it there, like, right, there's a speedo, it's like in the corner, it's like, just keep looking at it. Yeah, that's it. I mean, while you're in the tunnel, it doesn't really matter, uh, because no. uh, uh, you, you're just rattling along at what you believe the track speed limit is. I decided that the speed limit was 30 miles per hour, no matter what. Yeah. That's pretty much what I went with as well. 15 or 30 in the tunnels, and then 15 45 out, I think. Uh, that, that's, not that's that's speedo is an abbreviation out. of speedometer, not speedo as in a uh, a pair of budgie smugglers. Oh, yeah, they go, oh I, blimey! I, I overshot oh, there, ever so slightly. <laughs> Still working on my stopping distances. Yeah, there we are. Just uh, there, it's, it's a bit dark. But <laughs> I came, I back. came up with a, I came up with a great timing system for stations. I firstly go look at the clock. Uh, secondly, it's a, it's about three carriage lengths uh, and back again to cover the thirty seconds of a stop. Ah, you see, I didn't come out because so, I was like, yeah. That's one thing I was trying to figure out. What is like the ultimate stopping time on this, or what's like the min max? Because like, when you got the HUD up, the dial is there. It's easier. Yeah. And, uh, I think you can probably wait if you're coming in at 30 
So if you power down, so you stop accelerating as you see the tunnel, as you see the platform entrance, uh, and then go to max braking about half the distance along the platform. Yeah, that's kind of what I was doing for braking. I just couldn't figure out the um, the passenger stop time, like what's the optimum doors open? Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. three three doors, but it depends if you're, I mean, you've got to do a minimum of 30 seconds stop time. Um, 30 seconds, okay. So about three, uh, three train lengths. Yeah. Also, I just, <laughs> I did this because I was looking at the schedule, I was like, hang on a minute. Jamie! I, I, oh, I hadn't even <laughs> seen this. Actually, no, <laughs> this is, this is permitted. You are allowed, I did say in the rules, yeah. you were allowed to look up the schedule. But you see, you should have gone old school and used a piece of paper. I, I did think about it, yeah. Mike, you went old school and used a piece of paper, didn't you? Piece of paper, stopwatch, like checking uh, key stations. Yeah, I mean, that's the level of attention to detail that would have served you really nicely in selecting the right train. If I was using the right <laughs> train. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's, uh, you know, details, uh, it's all good. But at the moment, Jamie and, uh, and Matt are, uh, are ahead of the curve. Still hoping for a piece of paper or screens working in cab in game one day. I, I think so too. I think having some kind of in game clipboard that even if it was just a toggle that you could pull up the clipboard with all the information on. Uh, because I mean, one of the reasons for doing this is to figure out, and a watch as well, something with a watch on it with, with a clock of some description wouldn't hurt. Um, but we need to figure out what is the critical information you need. In order to uh, in order to play the game without the HUD. Yeah, <clears throat> I think I think that'd be good because also it would be great for these challenges as well if you had that you know because it... oh oh no oh oh no <laughs> oh dear yeah oops yeah yeah that's a that's a thing that happened um, oh yeah so uh, so basically Matt there fell into another dimension he uh, he went into a dimensional gateway of some description by uh, by having the temerity of breaking midway through the station and uh, and that's that's it for Matt so uh, so at the moment we're rocking uh, I, I can't I mean I wouldn't like to take the odds of who's gonna win um, <laughs> well you know you might not get ah. so uh, <laughs> yeah, is this why Matt isn't here? No, I think this is possibly why Matt didn't have another go. Uh, Matt's not well, so <laughs> but uh, but he had he had one go and it uh, it didn't it didn't go brilliantly. Didn't didn't go brilliantly. So uh, so I, we're going to have to. I think I may undisqualify you both uh, in order to base this off uh, at, uh, top score overall. Yeah, I don't know how fair that is on the 1972 versus 1938. I mean, the scores shouldn't be too far different, right? But they shouldn't be too far a different. It's hard on the 38. Uh, but if you're prepared to take those odds, Michael, then uh, I'm sure Jamie's up for it, because Jamie came into this quite confident. He did, yeah. yeah. But that's because he cheated, so, uh, you know, he would be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could yeah, I, I, I don't know why I did that, I, I purely, I think it was like, well, I set up the train, then turn it off before I move. That was what I was thinking in sleep, but, yeah. There yeah, we go. That, that, I'm being accused of trying to do, uh, to make an F1 type decision. No, 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 that's, that's not it, I'm just trying to keep it zesty for the viewers. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, you know, we'll lose them, they'll just kind of go, well, he's already won. What's the point of even watching? It's the adventure and the banter, friends. That's the reason. Gentlemen, you've got to contribute some banter for this to work. I, d I know. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll you know, get there. Some, some oh, hang sick on. Japes. <laughs> Can you actually stop saying what you're I stop occasionally in the right place. This is me con <laughs> constantly looking up at the speedometer and going, yeah, 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 it's doing, yeah, 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 we're about there. <laughs> yeah. Matt I'm thinks he's still with a chance. Could happen, Matt. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, yeah. Uh, why in the world is Mike in a who different train and timetable? 
That's a really good that question, Robert. It's a really good excellent question. question. You might want to watch the start of the stream. Uh, <laughs> because that question is answered. Yes. Yeah. In Jamie's defence, it is a possible interpretation of the rules. Yeah, but when three people don't use the HUD to set up their train, and that one person does, interpretation kind of goes unfair advantage. So, yeah, uh, yeah I mean, yeah, I, true. you know, as much as uh, uh, Nat's asking if uh, if we needed to provide some sass, you could jump on the voice call if you want to, Nat, it's up to you. <laughs> uh, I can't add any more video. Oh no! Even if you do, you'll wreck the video that I've already got set up. Mm -hmm. So uh, unfortunately not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mike's coming in. There you go. It's a good stop, Mike. Yeah, the stops okay. I think I overshot on a couple of them, but the stops are okay. All right, Mike's at Oxf Oxf Oxford Circus. I'm just coming into Piccadilly Circus, so I'm one stop behind. Mike's speed demon of a modern train. <laughs> my, my doors were opening and closing very quickly. Not much. That is that is possibly running a slightly different timetable. Jamie, where are you coming into? You're coming into Piccadilly uh, as well. Yeah, I am. And <clears throat> you delayed yourself by opening the timetable up because that pauses the game. Yes. Oh. Yes, I did. Yes. So we're we're probably pretty even in terms of track distance. Yeah. It's because I, I because of the shout. I, 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 I know. I don't know why I kept doing that. That's okay. It's allowed. I mean, you know, Matt and I before Matt, you know, blew himself up. Uh, we we <laughs> were we both using keyboards. So. Yeah. Yeah, because I couldn't. I was because uh, when I was because I had to learn how to use. So because sometimes I use the controls in the cab, but I wanted to sort of have a go properly using keyboard controls for like braking and bits and pieces. Um, so it's sort of the first time that I've been <clears throat> using it properly for braking. Um, so I was having to learn some of the controls as well. There you go. Uh, I mean, the, the real trick though is making sure you've got the uh, the near field enabled correctly once you go above ground. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Everyone thinks that we need Nat's commentary. Well, if Nat hadn't cried off playing this one, I don't, I don't care what manner of the country she's in that uh, that requires her to use a telephone for an internet connection. So that's a poor excuse. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Can we buy Jamie a new microphone for Christmas? You've got one coming, haven't you, Jamie? I've got a new PC coming because nice. the motherboard has failed on my on the beast. So yeah, uh, all starting to fail. Uh, so, I'm just going to um, correct. Sorry, it's oh wait, no, not that. I didn't want that one. Don't mind me. I'm just making adjustments, people. Sorry, I've only just noticed it, but it's going to be upsetting the, the all the fine folk out there. No problem at all. Is that the correct <laughs> one? Could be. There you go. Sorry, that's that's entirely shambolic and not intentional. <laughs> right. So does this mean, Jamie, you're playing this on your old potato? No, this is on the still the same PC, but I was worried that it would crash halfway through. <laughs> so that's Dark the map. worrying thing now. Is literally like any time I play the game, is it going to crash halfway through, or am I going to be okay? <laughs> All right, you I, know. I, I, you're just coming into the same station I'm at, and I arrived at 7:55 and 40 seconds. So because yeah. the clock is right ahead of us, you should be able to see it when you pull in. Yeah. Or when you sail through. 7.55 and 55 seconds. You're about uh, 15 seconds behind. Him. Yeah. I'm rolling backwards, though, so I think it's about <laughs> even. <laughs> this threw my door timing off entirely. <laughs> I'm fairly certain I got the brake on, but evidently, not so much. Got <laughs> Yeah. That was the toughest thing about this challenge, is trying to figure out what position the, the controller is in. Yes. When you got the HUD up, it's, you know what notch you're in, it's great. Yeah. Uh, was a Matt on a production work. build? Yes, he was. Matt was on a production build and fell through oh, a not. gateway into another dimension. Yeah. yeah, see, Jamie's now pulled ahead because I had to completely restart my stop in order to get the timing right, because I rolled backwards like some sort of clown who's never played before. 
I think this is where I hit the emergency brakes to try and stop going oh, out. That that's a high quality Mike. stop right there, Michael. <laughs> Loving your work. I, I, it's fine, it's fine. Oh wait, you're using a look out of the uh, look out the window. Oh, uh, like a dog hanging its head out the window. Beautiful. <laughs> Very nice. It's not going to help you get any more steps in, but it's all good. Well, I have to make sure the passengers are happy. I mean, I think that's what they would be. Well, they wouldn't do it on the underground, realistically, but that's what they so do sometimes. But some some European locos now have wing mirrors, don't they? So they can see what the passengers are up to. Yeah. Uh, to be fair to Matt, he did not spad. No, mm -hmm. Matt fell through a, a doorway to an enchanted kingdom. <laughs> and uh, and he lives there now forevermore. <laughs> uh, and uh, therefore, you know, I would be hard-pressed to blame Matt for that particular eventuality. Except, of course, he's the producer, executive, in, in brackets there, and therefore... He has to take some responsibility for that doorway to enchant. Oh, I missed this one by quite a bit. Oh, Sam, hold it all. <laughs> yeah, I pulled a Natalie on that one. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's all right. We do I still landed. I was only a couple of coaches yeah. too long on that one. Um, I mean, uh, obviously, the competition is still fierce. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There it goes, solid. Fireball. You're out at Regent's Park. Where have you reached there, Matt? You're at Marylebone. So uh, we're, uh, we're am, both yeah, at Regent's yeah. Park, Jamie, and uh, uh, Mike is uh, two stops ahead of us. Yep. Okay. Your trains are just too slow. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's it. Yeah. No. I'm, do I'm doing really good returning to the cab there by running into absolutely everything. <laughs> <laughs> Walk you to the walls. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the, that's the risk in using the sprint button. Yes. Yeah. Uh, incidentally, for those of you who uh, who like listening to things on their headphones, uh, this one is stereo panned as usual. So the uh, the videos you see on the right hand side will come out of your right ear hole, and the ones on your left ear, uh, left hand side, will also come out of your right ear. No, I joke. Uh, they're both going out of your left ear. <laughs> I oh, know I can work a panning thing in Premiere. I'm an absolute wizard. Hence the hat, you see. They call me Sandalf the Orange. <laughs> that, 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 I tell you, that, that would be a good character, sir. You know, you could you place you anywhere on the track. It'd be like, you know, it'd be the mystery Sam. Yeah, it's no, it's, mm. it's it's all going well. I was really enjoying this, has to be said. Uh, this 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 run was was really good fun, um, and uh, it's it's surprising how much you have to ramp your concentration up when you're not relying on the safety wheels that are the HUD. Oh. No, no oh. that's just me, that's me going too fast as usual. Oh. Because I was, I was trying to make up speed. There we go. Eight o'clock. I was actually, I'd actually managed to pull it back because we're in Baker Street now. I'd actually managed to pull That's it back close. to be on time. That's how close I was to the red signal. <laughs> I was like, ah, I don't want to be any closer than that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, the, uh, if Nat wants to have I've... a crack at this, she's more than welcome to do so. But I think I everyone in the chat good. is forgetting that uh, that stopping accuracy is possibly Nat's weakest strength <laughs> at the current time. <laughs> you know, perfectly good at accelerating and uh, cruising along at max speed. Pretty good at that too. Stopping anywhere near where she's supposed to, though, still got a little bit of work to do. <laughs> I know I can sass because she's not here and put me in my place, as I so rightly deserve. <laughs> Extreme. Yeah. She could still still take silver. That's true. The the silver medal is still available on this one. Yeah. yeah. All about silver. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's fun. It's the first time I'm, I've driven without the HUD properly in uh, TSW, and uh, stressful, but a lot of fun. 
Well, it really draws you in. I think this is a great route to do it on as well, because the gap between stations is really short, and uh, and you get uh, a big bright light coming towards you that is the station to say you'll be stopping soon then, um, yeah. and that makes that makes life a lot more straightforward. Plus, the train is really nimble; it stops dead easy, as long yeah. as you remember to you know apply the brakes. Normally, does help. <laughs> Another good stop, Mike. Yeah, I feel like I'm cheating having the markers there. I d yeah, I mean, I don't. I mean, I think the markers are great for beginners. Um, I'm disappointed that it's got my marker in there at all. I'd expected it to disappear when I turned the the HUD off, but I only noticed mm. it after like two stops. I went, hang on, why is that still there? Um, but hey, you know, and it, it, there are some some HUD inconsistencies. You know what the HUD does? What it does need when you're playing HUDless is some kind of cursor at all otherwise getting the train set up is a proper mission because you've got to find dead center on the screen yeah yeah because you don't even you get the labels do you or anything so you, you don't, don't get which... the label you've no idea no. what you're pointing at it's a process yeah. of elimination uh, you're just randomly clicking and moving around gently to try and find the button yeah. you can uh, right click to bring up the cursor there then you can click accurately say what if you, right, if you right click, I think it's right click, right? Because it's what I was doing to open and close the doors, because I don't like using keyboard presses. If you right click, it brings up the cursor, and then you don't need to like figure out where the hell you're pointing it. Yeah, we both knew that, didn't we, Jamie? Didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we both yeah, knew that. Yeah, yeah totally, that. totally, yeah. totally both knew that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was that was a thing we both knew. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, here I go. Sailing, sailing again. through the station again. Classy stop. Just going too fast. I'm I'm burning points all over the place. Burning them all over the place. I know someone said, is my cab light on because he's scared of the dark? I was like, no, no, I put it on so people could see what I was doing. That's why I put it on. Yeah. I put it on so I could see what I was doing. <laughs> I tried the practice from about it, it was horrific. <laughs> no, I, I didn't have, I, I was quite happy that I had all the keyboard controls I needed, and therefore, as long as the instrument lights were on, peering out into the gloom worked absolutely fine for me. Mm. Although, you say that, peering out into the gloom and then parking in the gloom appeared to have also, <laughs> have also worked quite well for me there. <sighs> that, that, that's that's purely Matt contributing to the banter from afar. Uh, I mean, the one thing that is that is a certainty is as soon as you uh, as soon as you crash out on one of these or are disqualified for any reason, you're allowed to just be as mean as you like. <laughs> because yep. at the end of the day, you're still a loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The HUD's a nuisance. I wouldn't say it was a nuisance so much as it's uh, you get too dependent on it. That's the mm -hmm. biggest problem with it, is that we find that so many people are driving the HUD, well, operating the HUD, rather than operating the train. If you take the HUD away, all of a sudden it's just you and the train and the instrumentation therein, and the challenge is obviously much greater, but at the same time, so is the immersion. Because this is how they would drive it. You know, you need to know that it's all about route knowledge and knowing where your signals are and things like that. I mean. <clears throat> Say, for example, the Baker Loop, you know, people have always, some people have always asked me, like, oh, how do train drivers see in the dark? It's like, well, they use the signals. So they know by where the signals are, they know by which station they are, because they know their route knowledge. You know, um, you know, if you imagine in the steam days, there was only slight semaphore signals with a tiny little oil lamp behind the semaphore signal. Right. That was it. You, you didn't see anything else because there was no headlights. It was literally just oil flicker lights on the front and the oil lamps in the signals, and that was it. That was all you knew. So you could hardly see anything, you know. Yeah. Um, so it's all about route knowledge. Yes, absolutely. But you say, I mean, I think at the same time, uh, it, it should be possible using instrumentation to uh, to drive a route for the first time without route knowledge. Yes. And at the same exactly. time, yeah. without having to lean on the HUD telling you absolutely everything. Uh, I mean, being caught yeah. out by a signal. I mean, 
the way that, I mean, if I had all the time and money in the world to uh, to put it together, I'd come up with a little in theme box that is an optional extra to put in the cab that gives you all the information you need, like an upcoming yellow or a speed limit change or something like that. So rather than it being a HUD, there is a little gizmo that sits in the cab that tells you stuff, and then you can just take that away when you're comfortable in doing so. But, but what that wouldn't do is break the immersion. I mean, don't get me wrong, if Matt wasn't ill already, he would have just passed out, because that's probably about a year's worth of work. Um, <laughs> but it's, you know, it would, uh, it would work quite nicely. Uh, Jason asked, could we have an option to have the HUD off by default? I think the option you want there is simply a master settings memory. Mm. So whatever you set your settings to, it remembers that across the board on every route. That would be the, the solution there. But you wouldn't want new players coming in without a HUD at all. The game is difficult enough, unless you are a massive train fan, um, without adding additional layers of complexity, such as removing anything that is in any way remotely helpful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah it's they would print still... off the timetable in game to, in order to go HUDless. I think a print option from in game, a control P, that's a dev ask. Uh, and dev asks always complicated, but what shouldn't be a problem, but almost certainly will be, is that we just make it available on a website somewhere so you can go and print it off. Now that we've just like got to find idea. the 15 people necessary to put that together. And you think I'm joking. No, I'm not joking. <laughs> It would. I mean, it'd be, be interesting, wouldn't it? Because you could have a, you could even have a clipboard, can you, with all the different timetables in? Yeah, and and I mean, that's almost better than having it in the game. Um, I mean, having this and my stopwatch, my, my little notepad and, and a stopwatch, I refer to this constantly. Which is what they would do, because that's what the the, the drivers and everything they have, um, they have the timetables all on printouts. You yeah. see them. Um, I think in Japan. They've got, um, you see them where they have to point everything, so they point a signal and point a, they look at a, a, a board like that and it's got the timetable on, so they have to point at where, what type part they are on the timetable, you know. Yeah, Matt's saying that actually they used to do just that, they used to have a, a printable timetable uh, for the first couple of routes, but it proved incredibly time consuming to make it. Mm. And I think, okay, incredibly time consuming is one thing. Uh, but one of my challenges for, for next year is to uh, is to improve on this kind of stuff, um, and uh, you know improve tutorialising and improve uh, just in, improve the documentation that comes with the game uh, that helps both new and old players enjoy it all the more. Yeah. Anyway, I've got some adventure coming up. So, I mean, if you want to pay attention to. Uh, <laughs> Want to pay attention to the big dog? That? You're more than welcome to do so, but I'm pretty sure I've got an adventure coming up fairly soon. <laughs> time consuming. Oh, is Mike's part outside now. Time consuming oh, yeah. is definitely part of the job, but if your time has already been, con you can only consume that time once. That's the problem. And when you've got uh, when you've got louder mouths that uh, that require attention, things like this kind of fall down uh, fall down the list. Uh, is that my job for the next year, or is that the next decade? It's one of the things that is falling under my remit in the new year, as far as I know. I haven't had that confirmed by Rob yet, but uh, Rob being a, the head of the studio, um, but I'm fairly certain it will be confirmed. Uh, and uh, and that will be interesting, because my job's changing a little bit. My, by, by which like I mean well. entirely. My job's changing entirely. <laughs> a tiny bit. <laughs> Okay, where are we up to? Matt, Mike, you appear to be outside. Yep, he's outside. Okay, uh, Matt is still wandering around the upside down. And uh, <laughs> Jamie, where are you? Any ideas? I think we left the, that same station at the same time. Beautiful. I don't know yeah. how uh, uh, how synchronised our, our clocks are, but uh, I think you're probably ahead of me in the game world. Yeah, because I've been, I've been not, I have not been driving well. <laughs> I, not as well as I would have liked. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, I must admit you're going at a fair rate, though. Look at that. 
Compared to me. Oh, I, I absolutely rinse it. I, uh, I take absolute no... Because I just want to hit the time. Same as when I won this first time around, my only yeah. objective is be on time. Everything yeah. else, a secondary consideration. Yeah. Coming in hot, though. Coming in hot. Yeah. See, this is a lovely looking stop we've got coming up here. And, oh, what appears to have happened. Yeah, you see, oh, I, I, uh, I had the temerity there to be slowing down gently on the approach into the station and uh, derailed the train. Ah! So, it's now a two-up challenge. Okay. Yay! Yeah, well, hang on, I'm going, to, I'm going to move my camera, given that Matt's not here. I'm going, to go, I'm going to sit at the bottom as some kind of arbitration monkey. There we are. So, the challenge wow. is back on. It is now... It's now a two a two player challenge. Both of whom are already disqualified. But the question remains, who's more disqualified? Who is yeah. <laughs> I'm disqualified the most here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. No, I had no I had the nerve to break while approaching a station stop. And so you weren't uh, like you weren't like going fell off into an emergency break or anything, right? Yeah. It wasn't just a pushing the lever too far. Nope. Wow. Nope. So yeah. that just literally just happened. It just like, you know, oh, right, well, I'm suddenly derailing I was, you. I was slowing down gently to make my stop, and the train fell off the track. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> hey, oh, but wow. if there is a way to make the train fall off the track in an unexpected fashion, I will find it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I, that's exactly. That's me, says, let's not pretend it's the first time I've broken the game. No. No, <laughs> that's my specialist skill. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Not even a Westinghouse. No, I, I was just, I was just, I was behaving myself. Uh, Matt, Matt, Matt found it first. I think Matt suffered the same thing, but yeah, his yeah. got even more exciting uh, and catapulted. If you watch the replay, you'll see that Matt actually flips upside down as part of his uh, uh, unwarranted train-based seizure. I'm now coming up into the outside. Oh, Mike's been out for ages. Hey, you took yeah. your time, Jamie. He's there. He's, yeah, I did. He's, yeah, fro I did. he's frolicking in the December air. <laughs> Is this you going for a bit of outside camera wizardry for a Pyrrhic victory there, Mike? Oh, no, not at all, no. I think you can do better. I had uh, no chance of uh, running around on foot or doing any of that kind of stuff. The stops were too frequent. Uh, there we go. And uh, any ideas on other underground routes? Well, the good news is we know that other underground routes exist. And therefore, if we decided at some point in the future to do another underground route, they are well documented. Uh, but have we got plans to do another underground route, gentlemen? Have we? I think they'd want to look on the roadmap for that. Very good, Mike. Mm. Very good. Yep. Very good. Yeah. See, and for those of you unaware, Mike is the one who uh, who likes to tell us whether or not we can tell you things. Um, yeah. And therefore, I am now going to take the opportunity to put Mike on the spot as often as possible. And he's just going to say <sighs> road map to everything. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, that's me looking at the shed from again, sorry. <laughs> Have you got your weak field on, Jamie? Or did you not use it? Weak field? Yeah. Uh, which one is... I'm trying to remember which one. If you were to look uh, to your right, it's yeah. the big flipping rectangular flag that sits out the, the right side window. And uh, you give it a wiggle, and it sets it to the other, the other version. One of them, this is as much as I understand, one mode makes mm. you dead quick on the old acceleration, uh, but yep. lower top speed. Whereas the other mode yeah. gives you higher top speed and lower acceleration, and therefore is better suited to running outdoors. Uh, no, I didn't change the setting because I didn't know that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And uh, Nat's encouraging you to sass me because she's not here to do it for me. <laughs> no. Oh, no. no. You're going really? outside again, Mike. Always outside. <laughs> you know this is this is the best bit of the track if you if you need to make up speed. 
if you don't stop to 10 miles per hour going through here, one, you don't derail, okay? That's important to note. Two, you only lose about 50, 60 points in total. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, you can, okay. burn, you can burn through there and only lose about 60 points. Right. Well, I, I just, yeah, I did the speed limit. I was like, well, there we go. You knew in your heart of hearts you'd already been disqualified, didn't you? Probably, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> probably, it's probably like, yeah, well, I'm just going to relax then. Yeah, probably, I don't. Yeah. There we go. There we go. It's all good. These are quite, you are quite taken with this, uh, watch the comings and goings of the train from the top of the roof while you're in a, have you got a confession uh, well, to make? Well, I, I don't want any uh, passengers, you know, coming to the platform late, running to the doors. You, know, you want to make sure that the passengers are getting on and off. So you're using your GoPro attached to a, a drone to just ensure yeah, pretty that, much. that yeah. everyone's safe. Just Keeping open the window and send it out, you know. <laughs> I, I'm demonstrating why the scoring system needs a revamp. Oh, the scoring system definitely needs a revamp. It's, I mean, it's the original scoring system. Uh, it, but it's, you know, it, as with anything, it's got to sit on the to-do list somewhere. And at some point, if we're lucky, that it will reach the top of someone's to-do list and they'll to do it. And it will reach the roadmap. So Derek says that Mike's just waiting for the passengers to launch into space. Or for, or for Matt to suddenly land. <laughs> he has returned to One us. Day. <laughs> yeah. You just see a whole train just suddenly land. You're like, where did that come from? <laughs> yes, uh, Matt returning to us in order to ride the trains once more. Yeah. I saw that Moggy was saying he needs to, yeah, needs to teach me the electricity ways of the southern yes I, I, yeah i'm not very good with uh vintage electrics uh, liam says it derailed on east coastway trying to come into a station breaking gently in the snow yeah yeah i think almost every time that i've uh I, i've had the train just kind of lose it is uh is when i've been driving properly uh if i'm if I'm driving like a maniac, by and large, the train usually behaves itself. Uh, but it's when I'm I'm trying to be sensible that it goes, can't have that, no. Nah, no we've got to keep that. you guessing as to what you possibly could have done wrong. <laughs> but okay. Yeah. I'm way behind Mike. No, the the I'm to-do list way is, is bigger than the old BR national timetable. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty <laughs> extensive. Accurate. Well, it's, a, it's the fine balancing act between uh, make improvements to what we've already got, uh, add new features that are going to provide extra zest, and bring out new routes that uh, that are going to do, you know add some spice into your life. And uh, and the ideal is a little bit of everything. Uh, the downside to that is you end up with none of them being flawless. Going through some outside shots again. Look at that. Yeah, loving the, uh, the sun on this. It's a nice time of day this, on this route. Oh, that's scenic. And the HUD's already off. All right, you get. That's a good scenic shot. All right, Jamie, you're still in it on the scenic shot competition. <laughs> Are you even entering? That's the question. I do, actually. Oh. It's a little bit later on. Ooh. I do. Ooh, he, think, he thinks it might be a contender, but that was a nice shot there from Mike. Yeah. Well, I can't do any tracking shots. My uh, current keyboard doesn't have a proper cursor set on it, so and tracking shots are tough. as well, like a seasoned professional. <laughs> I'm loving it. I work with the tools I have. There you go. Uh, shouldn't this challenge be rerun as there's no winner? Liam, do you want me to skip straight to the end? That's because that's the kind of thing that I will say at the end. Is uh, but I'm not going to tell you until the end. Yeah, I just you're going yeah. to have to hold. Have to hold I think uh, a new Hudless challenge is uh, definitely in order, though. Yeah. If not the same local yeah. route, Jamie, a new Hudless challenge. Jamie, you've a cursor could... in the middle of your screen. You uh? right-clicked the mouse. Oh, I must have right-clicked it by mistake. I and, didn't even and know. And then I not did noticed that, that uh, all of a sudden there was some 
white arrow shaped insect in the middle of your windshield. I think I was so concentrating on stopping, I wouldn't have noticed that, to be honest. Uh, Nat says that she's is... not going to do it. Uh, the, uh, any kind of rerun of the challenge. To which we say, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nat, you are. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you will do are. it. Yeah. Uh, I see a hudless. <sighs> mm. Yeah. I see not a huge fan of driving me, I see. That could that could be very exciting. Yeah. High speed hudless, that would be interesting, yes. No, it would be perilous is what it would be. It would, yeah. It'd be utterly, utterly perilous. It'd just be like, ah, oh, there's some stuff. Um yeah. <laughs> Okay, you're you're at the end of the run now, aren't you, Mike? I think so, and um, nobody needs to look at my screen for the next five minutes. Oh, no, <laughs> I love the end of your run. I love it. I absolutely love the end, <laughs> okay. of, the end of your can run. I, is a thing can, of I, beauty. can I explain why this happened, though? So, on my test run, uh, I did okay. I overshot a couple of stations. Uh, I think I came in like 20 minutes, or no, like 15 minutes late to the end. I was definitely giving too much on the doors and not watching the speed limits. But I got to the end, went up slowly up to the barrier. No more than five miles an hour. Yeah. And uh, just about clipped it. Full train flip, like a somersault. Oh, I love it when that happens. When you kind of go gently, 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 flaff. <laughs> <laughs> so on the recorded run, I was being super, super paranoid, and it took me about ten minutes to get up to the uh, up to the bumper. <laughs> Yeah, because this is a this is a return to depot kind of uh, or yeah. finish, finishing depot. It was um, yeah the, the practice run went full uh, full dark night like, just full <laughs> lorry flip. <laughs> it was disastrous. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, having done everything correctly, the final hurdle stop just before you hit this through you figuratively oh, and it, it, literally. It did, yeah. I should have recorded it. It was uh, it was quite yeah. a flip. Yeah, you've still oh, got some way to stop there. You're not quite there yet. No. no, I thought it was coming up actually. Okay. Right. Another good stop there for me. I'm doing. That is a nice stop, Jamie. Can't knock it. That's a thing that definitely happened. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, why do you have the feeling that flipping trains are not a feature? They're not. Uh, but it's down to the pure level, the, the pure quantity of physics that we have going on, going on. Means that if the physics ever gets upset at any point at all, anything could happen. Um, and uh, it's down to the number of moving parts. The more moving parts you've got, the, the greater the risk of something going not quite right. Because the, the trouble you then have is, can you ever get it to do the same thing again? No. It never does the same thing again. Uh, uh, there is a there is a stream of me driving the uh, the TGV, uh, where I effectively launch the TGV into space, and I've, and I've no idea why. Uh, the QA people who watched it tried to do exactly the same thing I did, couldn't make it happen. Matt was watching it and just went, "But you didn't do anything." I went, "I know." It just. It had had enough. It, I, I'm not ranting. I, I loved it. I loved launching the TGV into space. <laughs> there is a clip on Twitch somewhere of that. I think yeah. uh, that was in early Railfan TV days. It was uh, quite something. Yeah. It's almost as good as when I, 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 I drove the Javelin uh, and, uh, and I switched the power over to entirely the wrong power setting at the power switchover point. Train kept running. And I went, that's because I believed it would run. Uh, and therefore the settings were an irrelevance. I believed it would run, and therefore it did. Uh, I also, yes, I did. I launched an SD40 into space on clinch fields. Uh, that happened. Oh, Natsta was with me on that one. Good. Consistent. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> that would have been relative. Would have only been with the company for a couple of months. Yeah. You think I was playing with the pantograph? Oh, that's possible. Yes, maybe the pantograph got snagged and catapulted me out into a yeah. No, no, I did all the I did all the power settings correctly on the TGV. Definitely did it correctly. Yeah. 
I did manage to couple myself between two trains on uh, on Northern Trans Pennine, or rather between myself and a wagon uh, and a carriage. That was good. That was that was exciting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, yeah, basically, I, there is no way that I can't abuse this uh, this joyous piece of software uh, to make it do things it really didn't intend to do. To make it be a space simulator. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's it. That'll be the new uh, job title, Sam. That's uh, uh, Sam Space Launcher. Yeah, no, no, so just a visionary. A visionary for how it's how it's meant to be played. I've made I've made a gronk do a backflip and it almost landed on the rails. Oh but, wow! But everybody has backflipped a gronk. If you haven't backflipped a gronk, you haven't lived. <laughs> Morgy, next four up challenge. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, where are we, Ma Mike? Where are you? Uh, I thought I was near. The I end, thought you were near the finish as well, but you're not. I'm not. You must no. be. Get, you must be getting on that way. That said, yeah, yeah. There is still another ten minutes to go in this challenge, so uh, so you're not there yet. It's a long old run, this one. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Parking up was about ten minutes at the end there. Uh, Gareth, if you haven't backflipped a Gronk, you haven't tried hard enough. I want to try it now. <laughs> yeah, buffers. That's all you need. Which is that right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You drive it fast enough at the buffers, it'll it'll do your backflip. The real <laughs> the real challenge is uh, is landing it back on the rails. Oh, a bit, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Josh says, "Is this a race?" Not as such. Uh, there is a there are bragging rights to be had by being the first to arrive at the, the eventual destination, um, but ultimately it comes down to who gets the most points. Now. Unfortunately, the two drivers you're currently watching are disqualified. Uh, the other two drivers who were competing uh, did not finish. Let's put it that way. Didn't, <laughs> didn't make it. Didn't go the distance. It's the first time we've had a double disqualification and the first time we've had a double DNF. <laughs> in the same... In the same... In the, oh. Yeah. I know. And the ironic thing is that other than Jamie's misinterpretation of the rule book, which I'll put you... I, you didn't do it deliberately, Jamie. I'll put it down as a misinterpretation yeah, yeah. Uh, of not understanding the spirit of the rules. Um, uh, nobody has actually fallen foul of not following the rules. Well, That's I the usual have. disqualification. <laughs> no, Mike, you've just chosen the wrong train, like some kind of plum. Uh, but, uh, I mean, that could happen to anybody. Well, you said Bakerloo line. You said service. I yeah. No, no, I went it, off and did it that. Ranks it ranks up there with uh, with Adam failing to read the no dev builds, then rocking up as we do East Coastway and immediately going check out this passenger information screen that is coming soon, <laughs> but it's not in the game yet because I'm on a dev build. I'm gonna go. Just I mean, am I writing in a different language? <laughs> Uh, who won the there and back for East Coast Way? I got disqualified. Uh, I spatted on uh, on the there and back. I can't remember who won that one. You were on that one, weren't you, Jamie? I, I don't me, think you, I Adam was. And Matt? No, I don't think it was. Nat won. No, I didn't think Nat had won <laughs> one yet. I'm sure. She, I, I told you. I'm I sure she, she won one. one. Yeah. And I thought that was the one. There you go. Here's my scenic shots. Here we go. Oh, Look, okay. Go. All right. It, it's Jamie's photographic entry. If he can figure out how to, how to hold the camera still. Yeah, I was trying Wait to. I was like. Wait for no. Still not quite there. I'll get there in a minute. I was yeah. trying let, to. Let us like, know when you're ready, Jamie. Not yet. Okay. Well, that that right. was quite that something. Was a warm up. Um, That's yeah. all good. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, that that one on the uh, East Coast way. I thought it was. I thought it was. Actually, that might have been because everybody got disqualified. And uh, no, but she ended up meet, beating Matt. I think. Uh, I think the uh, I think the Peninsula Corridor one was probably my favourite so far, just purely for the edge of the seat, uh, uh, driving very very slowly towards red signals that everyone was doing. Oh yeah. And of course, yeah. JD being unable to work out how to turn off the bell. <laughs> That was brilliant. I thought that was hilarious. That's that's the kind of legendary behaviour you really like to see. <laughs> oh, dear. 
But uh, yes, I got in the wrong train. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got in the wrong train. I can't um, remember who won that. Was that you that won? Was that, uh, that one, yes. Yeah, I won that one. Even though you got on the wrong train. I had, I had plenty of time. So I was getting yeah. my steps in um, and uh, got into the wrong train. And then uh, when I tried to sit in the chair, it goes, do you really want to take over this service? No, it. The JD's bells are a marvel. <laughs> it's what we all say. I mean, he doesn't like to advertise it, but uh, <laughs> everyone knows he's got some bells on him as JD. Whatever that might mean. I'm not even entirely sure what euphemism we're playing with here, but there you go. No, it sounds no, vaguely no, smutty. <laughs> Oh, I know I was whistling here because I was like, get out, the go on, get off the edge of the platform. I had a couple <laughs> of stops like that where they were just hovering right on the edge. <laughs> oh, you've got a nice sunrise going on there, Mike. Thank yeah, you. he can't resist. He's straight out there again. <laughs> Looking at the top Did of the train like a man obsessed. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go again. Okay. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, you're missing the sun. Yeah, you... I mean, uh, it needs some J.J. Abrams lens flare. Oh, no, 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 yeah. there we go. That's nice. Jamie's got That's some nice. cheeky sun peeking through a little bit of foliage there, which is quite pleasant. Yeah. I think Mike's still ahead of you, because you were straight on with the train, you see. With a, with a bit more angle, I think you've got... Yeah. Uh, that said, of course, Mike should be judging these, because this is part of Mike's job. Mm, that is very true. To go, yes, that is the kind of screenshot that will bring all the boys to my yard. <laughs> That's in my job description. Yeah, <laughs> it's worded that way too. Uh, be, what about spawn you know, on foot challenge? You've got a time, you're given a time to spawn at a station, you have to leg it to a train and run to whatever service. We've done that one. We've done that, we had a start on foot. Hmm. Um, oh, yeah. We also had a switch trains at the halfway point on foot. That was the there and back challenge. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mike can't judge and take part. Look, I judge whether or not people are disqualified. And as much as I don't let them get an edge in sight, a word in edgeways, if they're disputing my call, um, <laughs> I'm still able to compete. I trust Mike's impartiality. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how did I, how did I manage to get Mike on a live stream? Uh, it's largely because not in Mike's defence at this time of day, which is when we run these streams, every day, Mike's uh, Mike's young family of twins uh, yeah. are uh, are very 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 loud and running around the place. So yeah. uh, so I suggested that he do it from the office next time it was uh, amenable. <clears throat> Because Mike, yeah, he's, he's not been backwards in doing it. It's only taken you a year of asking to get me on the stream, so and shaming you as often as possible. <laughs> yeah, I, I bring out the shame as, as often as I can. It hasn't really worked, but but here we are. He's here for the anniversary <laughs> run. Oh, here we go again. Uh, how about a challenge where you board as a passenger and take over at the next station? I don't see how that's more challenging. Mm. I mean, sell me on it by all means. So that would be you jump on the train, wouldn't you, and then go through to the next station, and then try and take over the train, wouldn't you? Yeah. From there. But yeah. Or, or take over another service that happens to be there. The only thing is, mm. that given that that would be a timetabled AI run, theoretically yeah. everyone should just rock up at exactly the same point. Therefore, mm. no one will have any advantage or disadvantage in turning up at that time. Mm. Mm. Not to mention the fact that between the start point and that first stop, everyone's just going to be running up and down the train like some kind of loon to get their steps in. <laughs> yeah, they will, won't they? Yeah. Just opening all the doors and... <laughs> uh, will Mike come back and do another one? Yes. To be fair, Mike, you haven't really done this one, have you? You're not wrong, Sam. You're not wrong, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm deceased. I'm allowed to say this stuff. 
<laughs> yeah. uh, I I mean, <laughs> just, uh, you know. Oh, here we go. This is the bit of your run that I really love, Mike. I really, really, really love it. I love it See, so much. I, 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 I so it. thought I'd nailed it after I the second it. movement that I actually took the key out. Yeah, oh, I love it. <laughs> this is called... I thought I'd done it. Mike can't quite work out why it hasn't finished yet. Well, no, because I thought I had finished, and then I got moved a bit further. I thought I had, and just I did not want to do the flip again. No, it's beautiful. I was being far too cautious. I love it. There you go. You go. I'm so that's it. That's that me. Should I should finish it. I'm done. Yeah. I'm actually going to take the key out and off. Oh, wait for the menu to come up. Yeah. No. no Something's no, not, not right. right. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm maybe I'll take the master key out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did that work? No. Right. Okay, I'll open oh, I actually left the cab as well. No yeah. way. <laughs> oh, so what, what I should have done here I'll is be just honest done a with few you, laps of the I print. had no idea why it hadn't finished either. <laughs> Other than you, maybe you were early. No, I wasn't but early because I this think... This is um, non-timed. Like after the last station stop, I think I was only like two minutes over on the, uh, on the actual time. So. Yep, you fired it back up again. That's helped. Yeah, and now it didn't actually start up properly, I don't think. No, you haven't turned the, you haven't acknowledged the, the safety going off. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, on, on the practice run, I was going maybe, like, under five miles an hour when it flipped. <laughs> I love how I you're now into the stage and just got to go flip and wiggle everything. Yeah. <laughs> We've all been there. Yeah. Oh, hey! Hey, Mike gets a score. It's a good what score, 24,000. Uh, let's have a look at your stopping accuracy. You've got a point yeah, three I scrolled through them. there. You've got a point three two seven. That's, my best that's respectable. Three, yeah, that was my best one, the zero three two seven. Yeah. Only, it, let's call let's be generous, I'll round up. You 12 yards on foot. Yeah. I was too, uh, too uh, scared to actually go running because uh, the stop times were not enough. Yeah, what's what's your worst stop? That's more fun. Uh, There's a oh, seventeen I yard. I have a feeling that there was, was a, early rather than late. There was one really bad one towards the end. I can't quite see those on mine. Seventeen yards one there. Yeah, yeah. seventeen. Okay, all right. Twenty-seven. So a point three there two. A, 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 a point three two of a stop. Um, was it point three two or point oh three two? Uh, zero point three two seven. Zero point. You wrote it down. You started. I did write it. Um, <laughs> zero point three two seven. That's good. Uh, relatively consistent control. That's that's good too. Yeah, I was surprised by the speeding because at the start it felt like I was uh, going far too fast, but I only went over a couple of times. Nice. Nice. You were under by quite a bit there in the middle as well. At I the end, a fast yeah, section yeah. you missed out on. I'm not uh, oh, let's just saw a twenty-eight yarder. Oh, there's a 34 yeah. as well. There's a 34.7 yard miss. Nobody needs to look at the uh, at the others. That's fine. We're just pulling <laughs> up random stats while uh, while Jamie's train that is 40 years older is is trying to reach the uh, trying to reach the end. <laughs> but you made it to the end, mm. and that's a good thing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I know you're anticipating me then following up by you know the obvious. You made it to the end in the wrong train, but I think I've I think I've milked all the humour there is from that. No, one. it's fine. I'll, I'll yeah. let you know if I find some more. It doesn't matter what the scores are at this point. Jamie uh, is in the right train. I can uh, forgive the HUD uh, issue at the start. Oh, cheeky! Uh, no, it's gonna it's gonna come down to score uh, for yeah. a Pyrrhic victory. Uh, could Dovetail Live manage the timetable uh, timetable website? Yeah, I think they could they could list the timetable out in various different colours as well to tell you whether it's going to be a rush hour train or not. When they solve that, then yes. I was coming in very steady because I was like, I don't know what the speed restriction is on this part. I was like, I'm guessing it could be five, ten miles an hour. So I was like, right, okay, I'll come in nice and steady. Oh look! At, oh, Jamie, there, he's just. He's just pumping the controls a little bit, like a master. <laughs> just a little, a little dab more there, Jamie. That... It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> uh... It's all good. 
Uh, an online timetable would be rather lovely. It's just something we don't have the resource for, but it's something that we should find the resource for. You know, uh, what would be really lovely is a, a companion app with all your timetables on there. Have a nice tablet next to you with everything on. Well, I, I worked on the companion app for a, uh, a very popular first-person shooter title, and uh, it would know when you entered a multiplayer game and you could change the selection of weapons and so forth that you were using in that multiplayer le level on your app. So you could save all your loadouts and punch it on the app, and it would load it up for you in-game. It was like magic. That's very cool. That's very cool. Yeah. It sounds Think very it expensive. Oh, it was extraordinarily expensive. Here we go. Jamie is... No, Jamie's not in touch. No, I was, Jamie's I was looking... Jamie's checking the like... rule book again. Hi. Ah, there we go. I haven't actually got my four wheels on where it's supposed to be, so... I'm glad I'm not the only one. I, I would rather suggest that this was a modicum too fussy. <laughs> there we go, there we Jamie's go. in. Now, is Jamie going to exceed 24,013 points? The answer is yes. Oh, yes. very nice. Very nice. <laughs> All right, so uh, Jamie lands 26,173, uh, meaning that Jamie is the non-winner among all the non-winners in today's Winners. competition. Uh, you also walked furthest, Jamie, so well done. Yeah. Uh, Mike got the Pyrrhic victory of arriving first. There you go. I've disqualified you both again, just in case you got carried away. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, that's how we roll here yeah. at the 4-Up uh, Challenge anniversary party where nobody does it right. <laughs> There we go. We look forward to seeing you in the new year for more four up challenges where nobody does it right. Uh, if you've got a uh, if you've got a suggestion for a challenge you want uh, you want us to take a crack at, um, uh, yes, yeah, I, I expect facetious suggestions, uh, but at the same time, <laughs> if you've got legitimate suggestions, they're also welcome. Uh, go and stick them over on the forums. Maybe in the suggestions forum. Four up suggestions. Someone start the thread. Make your suggestions. Evolutions of rules is all good. Uh, and, uh, root suggestions, all that kind of stuff. It's all welcome. Mike, thank you for finally joining us on the show. Welcome. It was Did fun. you have fun? I had lots of fun. And I learned that actually driving without the HUD is uh, way better and way more fun than I thought it would be. And I will be doing it more often. There you go. Jamie, did you have fun? I did very much so, and I, I agree with Mike. There is the HUD is, it's it's such a different experience, and yeah. it's great fun just having a go with it and just being like you actually feel as if you're a real driver because you're trying to anticipate where the stops are rather than it telling you sort of you know. Heartily agree, heartily agree. Um, so our next uh, our next stream is on the twenty eighth. Uh, where you'll be able to enjoy the company of both Nat and Matt, assuming Matt is fit for duty by that point, because he may not be. Uh, everybody send your best wishes to Matt. He has fallen foul of, uh, of, of various illness, uh, one we're all too familiar with, and, uh, and hopefully he'll bounce back and be back on his feet soon. At the moment, all he's allowed to do is post pithy comments on Twitch. <laughs> Which is, I mean, it's good. It's a good start, but uh, but it's it's not quite good enough. Uh, 29th? I was pretty sure it was the 28th. Hold on. See, my, Do you want me to get the right thing, up, I was pretty sure it was the 28th face there as well. I was fairly sure. I'll, I'll double check since I'm saying this on camera. Hang on. I'm just looking it up. Give me a moment. Won't be sick. Just hold on. Yep. There you go. And then this. Uh, 29th, 29th is the uh, Q&A. And oh, then 30th, not. we have a Let's Play. Okay, all right, yeah. 29th, thank you. No, I, I stand corrected. On the 29th, there's a Q&A. Uh, it's our annual Q&A, &A and it's going to be uh, Matt and Nat, tete-a-tete, uh, -tete, uh, with uh, questions that have been submitted in advance. Those questions are being gathered on the forum right now, and because everybody loves him, Jamie's the one gathering the questions. Uh, so get your questions in, and, uh, and that should be a good time. Anyway, thanks very much for watching for today. We'll see Chisel. you in 22. Yeah, yeah and have a good Christmas, because we're not going to be here before Christmas. Oh, so, so, so Merry Christmas to everyone as well. There you we go. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Bye. 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 Hold on. I've got to find a button. Keep waving. <laughs> Keep waving. <laughs>